Welcome to Multiple Choice Question 5 of the 2009 Mathematical Methods Exam 2. In this video we will be looking at the solution for this question, a reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. And now before I move on, I just want to point out that the use of a CAS calculator is by far the most efficient way to answer this problem. So for question 5 we have let f be the function with a domain of all real numbers with the rule f of x equals x squared. And we're asked which of the following is not true. So it's important that it says not true, which means four of these options will be correct and one will be incorrect. And we're now going to use a calculator to test all of these options. On the CAS calculator, go into the main menu. Next, we want to define the function f of x. So we're going to type in x to the power of 2, and then we're going to highlight that and go interactive define as f of x, and we can hit OK. And next, we want to judge which of the following statements is not true. So we're going to get a whole bunch of true ones, and one of them will be false or undefined on the calculator. So the judge feature, or the judge command, can be found by going into the keyboard and then clicking on the down arrow. And then in the catalog, we want to go across to J for judge, and we want to input that. For option A, we want to judge whether f of, and then in the brackets we want x, y, is equal to, and then it needs to be f of x multiplied by f of y. So if we hit execute there, that says it's true. So we know that that's not the answer to the question as we're looking for something that's not true. And now for our second option, I'm just going to drag that judge command down, and we want to judge whether f of x minus f of negative x is equal to zero. And hitting execute says that that's true, so that can't be the answer to this problem. So we move on to the option C. So dragging judge down, I want to judge this time whether f of 2x is equal to 4 times just f of x. And then hitting execute, that will say that's true, so that's not the answer we're looking for. So we move on to the fourth option. So we're going to judge, we're going to drag that down, and then we want to judge whether f of, and it's x subtract y inside the bracket, is equal to f of x subtract f of y. And then we hit execute, and this says undefined, so that's the answer to this question. But while I've got the calculator up, I'll just show that e is also true. So dragging down judge, we want to put in f of, and then we want x plus y in the first one, and then we add on to that f of x take y, and then we test if that is equal to 2, and then in brackets, we need f of x plus f of y. So if I drag that down and then just replace that negative with a positive, that's now the option E entered in, and hitting execute, that says that it's true as well. So the answer we were looking for was D. So we know that D is a statement that's not correct. So that's the answer to this question as we were looking for something that's not true. And now just before we finish off, I'll show by hand why that's not correct. So if we start with the left hand side of that option, we'd have F of X subtract Y, which is really just equal to X subtract Y squared. So we're just going to put X take Y into F of X in other words. And using a grid to expand that, we'd have x subtract y and x subtract y. So the first box, we'd have x times x, which is x squared. Then we'd have minus xy, subtract xy, and plus y squared. So that means that f of x take y is actually equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared which in terms of our function f of x could be written as f of x, because f of x is just equal to x squared, plus f of y minus 2xy. So that can't be simplified in any way to f of x take f of y, which is what the right-hand side of option D was. So that's another way of showing that this wasn't true, making D the correct answer for question 5. From the examiner's report, we can see that this challenged a lot of students, with only 53% of students getting the correct answer for that question.